Hello, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Nicky Nick Plays Minecraft's uh, last episode. We created our slime farm, or we finished our slime farm, and uh, we created our slime farm because we needed some slime blocks for our next project, and that will be a sugar cave farm. I already explained to you guys that uh, I wanted to build a sugar cave farm from a il il mango design. And I tested it out in my redstone world, and as you can see, it is working quite okay, as it should be. But I ha I run into a problem over here. Um, this system is modular, so this is one module, then this signal will trigger the next module over here, and at the end, this will be triggering, uh, this will trigger the upper, oh, sorry, this will upper uh, trigger the upper uh, module over here and over here it should trigger the next one and so on and so on but the problem is and i don't know uh, how to fix it there has to be a block over here uh, when i put a block over here and i activate the system the system gets jammed so it has to be something with the redstone over here uh, i'm just gonna show you guys what the problem is as you can see everything gets triggered but then it gets jammed um, I can fix this when I break the block put a redstone over here and everything gets back into his original position and um, yeah, I don't know what the problem is probably um, this will power the sticky piston because it doesn't get unpowered and that's jamming up the system um, that's why I designed a little bit of my own, but um, a system on my own, I want to say. Um, but yeah, I used a lot of the elements over here and I built it on, on this side. So as you can see, it's looking similar to the El Mango design. Um, I'm just gonna put an item in here or a few items, a few items, whoops. Um, what I did is, you can see, these are also the slime lines over here, as in the El Mango design. But instead of um, one module triggering the other, I'm just using one signal in the center, over here with the torch tower. Um, over here I used the Eto Hopper Clock that will trigger the torch tower over here. And this will trigger um, all of the... As you can see right now, they get triggered all together. So. Uh, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. Everything is a little bit more symmetrical. Um, so, as you as you can make the comparison to this uh, over here, uh, you definitely should check out his, his Mango's tutorial on this because it's very useful um, and it's very interesting on how things work and why things uh, are being done. But uh, I'm just gonna build this one on my own single player server. So, let's get back to the single player worlds of Nicky Nick Plays Minecraft and let's build this sugarcane farm and I'll see you guys back in a moment.
all right guys and uh, there we have it we have our sugarcane farm up and running uh, we only need to do one more thing and that's building a uh, case around it so everything every sugarcane can be collected into the collection system down below over here so um the redstone is also completed so now next on the list building a case around the sugarcane farm Alright guys, we finally completed our sugarcane farm over here and now it's time to do one more thing and that's linking up uh, the output from the sugarcane farm which is producing a lot of sugarcane as you can see right now and for the moment it goes into a chest over here and we still have to link it to our storage area over there so let me grab my redstone box first and let's head on to the storage area. Alright guys, uh, I already installed one module uh, for our uh, filter system over here. And I'm just going to explain and give you a short explanation on how this works. So this hopper line is our main input line. So this runs from this point to yeah, your end destination for example. Then below this line we're just going to put um, one uh, hopper facing forward. This will be the filter hopper. Um, and the others are just uh, regular regular hoppers for the input for the chests over here so uh, what are we going to do we're just gonna detect the signal or the input from the filter hopper um, as you can see right now I filled it up with 41 sugar canes which we will be filtering with this filter hopper and uh, four other unique 
uh, blocks. As you can see, I use some dirt and I renamed them as fillers, so they're uni unique. They can't be replaced by regular hover uh, dirt, as you can see. So it's just the one or the other. Um, how does this work? So when we have 41 items over here and four over here, we have 45 items in total, which will be detected by the comparator on top over here, as you can see right now. And for the moment, it has a signal strength of two redstone. That's for 40, 45 items. When the system is uh, activated or loaded with items from the main hopper line over here, um, when sugarcane is going into the hopper line over here, um, it will detect every hopper beneath the main hopper line if it can go through that hopper or not. And if, for example, if you have only sugarcane over here and these are unique blocks, so those will never will never be uh, in the system. So those will never be filled in the hopper over here. Uh, when a sugarcane uh, goes over the hopper over here it will check if it can go inside and yes it can so we have 42 sugar cane for example then the signal strength will change to three which will power the repeater over here which will unpower this um, redstone torch which unpowers the block over here which will deactivate <laughs> deactivate the hopper over here which will let go through that sugar cane and that's for every sugar cane that passes over here so that's how this thing works guys so to give you an example if i put for example first some cobblestone in here and 36 oh yeah for it uh, maybe i should uh, put the hopper in the right direction then it will be working <laughs> so for example if you put some coal in here and some sugar cane you will see the redstone and the torch is still uh, light uh, lit up so and for now yeah sugar cane is going through so this hopper will be unlocked which will let pass uh hoppers through that System, as you can see, is it working right now? So only sugarcane will pass through this hopper, uh, filter hopper, and into the row or column of chests over here. So we will repeat this maybe to begin with one more time, just only for sugarcane because we have uh, six double chests over here. That will be sufficient. And certainly, if we put a second column next to it, whoops. So let's do this one together. So we put our column of chests over here whoops like so then next are hoppers to fill in the chests like oops like so uh, don't have enough space <laughs> so let's do this first so one hopper into the chest and the filter hopper needs to point forwards and that should be okay, yeah. So, next, pretty easy, a comparator, like so. <clears throat> then, again, block. Uh, for, if you have one module, it's very easy to build because you just can copy and paste, for example, <laughs> to, uh, to say it like that. So, what will I do next? We break this one, we, then we can put our torch, which I don't have. like so another repeater over there yeah In, into the block with the torch oops i need to pillar up a little bit more <laughs> like so and that should do it now we just need to fill in the filter hopper again with the four unique over here as you can see if i put 32 hoppers inside signal strength will be maybe like uh, still two or something but if you fill it up completely it will run down because this signal strength will be three as you can see it's three and will unlock it so how items will go through until the point it reaches 41 or 45 items in total over here which will deactivate this system which locks the hopper so 
that's how this filter system works now i need to do one more thing and that's putting in maybe hmm, an item elevator on this side and we're gonna connect it with the output from our sugarcane farm so let me do that first and i'll see you guys back in a second all right guys i installed a ice how do you call this an ice uh, road or ice the transportation system with ice blocks <laughs> i don't know the correct uh, name in english so i'm sorry guys but uh, this uh, allows us to travel uh, items at a fast speed they will make in their way onto the hoppers which will make their way into our item elevator over here so now let's try to make our way back up so oops Oh, oops, yeah, this is not an easy way for now, so maybe take the risk. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, I survived. So, okay, let's make our way back to the farm because I have one more thing to do. Final touches. it's looking great at night as well because uh, i also added a little bit of the lightning at the inside wall over here i have a white concrete wall as you can see with some lightning in between very cool very nice so this is what we have right now i still have to break the hopper and the chest whoops i broke the <laughs> um some more compressed ice like so they should make their way down as you can see over here I'm just gonna show you guys this is going down to the compressed ice road that i showed you before uh now i need to find a way out of here so and hopefully uh, the items should make their way into our um, system so let me get sleep first let me get some ender pearls and off we go Okay, and as you can see, the sugarcane is uh, going through our item uh, filter, item elevator over here. And yeah, the first filter, the items go inside the main hopper line and they take the first hopper if they can fit inside. And as you can see, uh, the first column of hop of uh, chests is being adjusted, is being assigned for the sugarcane. As you can see, the system is working so now that we have that everything is automated the sugarcane farm is done this um, storage system for the sugarcane is also done so that project can be called completed so i think that will do it for this episode guys i hope you liked this episode and if you did just uh, remember to hit the like or subscribe button and uh, i hope i see you guys back in another episode of nicky nick plays minecraft see you later guys and uh thanks for watching bye bye